Our topic is linear flow controller. Next, we will introduce our topic in six points. Firstly, the motivation and purpose. Have you ever taken a shower? We found a serious problem with the shower system. That is the temperature adjustment is too rough. Turning the handle a little bit to left, the water will be too hot, a little bit to right, will be too cold. We want to solve the problem of water temperature, is too difficult to adjust. Now let me explain further. We observe that the water pipe in the middle of the shower, set serves no other purpose. Drawing inspiration from a rubber eraser, we considered if we could control the water temperature in a grid-like fashion similar to the tenon on a rubber eraser. We established a forced relationship between the rubber eraser and the shower set. The linear control, standardized scale, and tenon structure of the eraser were combined with the ability of the shower handle to control water temperature. This integration allows users to exert better control and have a more intuitive understanding of the relative temperature. The tenon structure prevents accidental adjustments and standardized scale enable precise temperature adjustments. Moving on to design ideas. We drew inspiration from two similar triangles. First, we put the small triangle on the top of big triangle, so the gap is zero. When the small one moves down the gap between two triangles will get bigger. Based on the principle, we designed a valve structure. The orange part represents the area valve core and the yellow grooved part represents the water passage. The left side is for hot water, the right side for cold water and water flows from bottom to top. A handle in the middle connects two trapezoidal valve cores. When the handle is at the bottom, it is 0% hot water and 100% cold water at the top. It's the opposite with proportional control in between. We use SketchUp to draw the overall structure. The gray part is the water channel containing the structure just mentioned the purple part is the grip the blue part is the knob and we can see form the picture. Hot and cold water enter the waterway from below. Control temperature through the handle. Moving down the temperature decreases. Moving up the temperature increases. Control the water volume with the knob. The grid by frame design at the back is to achieve the effect of a standardized scale. Now, I'll explain the validation. Since our valve is a new design, we needed to verify its feasibility. We use the model to verify. We graph the experimental results and calculate an average temperature change of 0.35 degrees for every 1% movement. Next, we combine linear control into the shower group. Based on the height accessible to children and the outlet position, calculated a usable control axis length of 50 km. Assuming each marking is 0.5 km, we have 100 adjustable increments with an average change of 0.35 degrees per increment. We conducted an experiment to test the fine-tuning ability of traditional systems. The results showed that, on average, every fine adjustment changed the temperature by 2.23 degrees, which is 637% worse than our linear valve structure. We also designed a linear control shower set for the more commonly used two-piece systems. Despite a reduced control axis length of 30 chem, it still improved by 384% compared to traditional systems, maintaining a significant lead. Recommendation, we applied for a patent for this structure. We recommend purchasing our product after commercialization. And there's our reference. Thanks for your time.